paper number uh, 29. Before we read this into the record, I would just like to say, I know there are many people who came here to speak to the papers concerning um, the conveyance of the West Hampton School to Bonsai Corps, who came here to speak about the entire project. I wanted to give everybody the opportunity to speak, but we have um, four papers and a resolution on this. And so what I would like you to do is listen carefully to the paper that we are discussing. Um, I would hope that you would only come to speak to one of these papers, but of course you have the opportunity to speak to more. For each of these papers, I'm going to ask a show of hands who wishes to speak for or against them. We have a 30 minute time limit for each side. So um, I would hope that if you plan to speak, you would raise your hand so we can figure out how much time each person has so that everybody has the opportunity to have their say. Um, that being said, did you read the first paper into the uh, record back? Yes. Item number 29 is on number 2012-213 to accept a deed from the school board conveying 5800 Patterson Avenue to the city and to authorize the chief administrative officer to act on behalf of the city in executing such deed. Thank you. But this thing, so that everybody in the audience understands what this paper does is it declares West Hampton School surplus property. Until that property <coughs> is conveyed to the city, which this paper does, nothing else can happen. So this is just merely uh, conveying this piece of property to the city. Is there anybody to speak in opposition to that? No. Yes, ma'am. Early today, the Grid Park, we were given, um, I guess, some information about this. There were uh, so many people here tonight that did not know some of the things we had spoken about. So if someone might come down here to speak in reference to that one, what is on the sheet right here. And this is not on that resolution. Once we get to that resolution, we can go through that, what it says. This, this first paper that we have before us right now is just declaring the school, that is to say that the school surplus is, school surplus in building back to the city. I understand. Okay. Okay. We're going to take them one at a time so everybody can, can have their opportunity to speak and understand what the papers are saying. School is not the credit surplus. Okay. Nothing can happen. So that's why we're doing this paper first. Okay. Then we'll do the resolution. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Is there anyone to speak in opposition to this paper?
just for all the next speakers coming up, that school is not ADA equipped. It's, uh, it's not. Uh, um, my name is Chris Dorsey. I'd like to point out that uh, I mean, there's money uh, allocated to get a number of schools up to EDA standards, and they still operate. So I'm not sure why that's a relevant uh, statement there. But my name is Chris Dorsey. Uh, I am coming up here to oppose this aspect of the deal because I am told under procedure that nothing can move forward on this fraudulent and criminal giveaway, theft of taxpayer dollars, without uh, first the city giving away property to itself. So I'm going to oppose the city giving away property to itself in order to steal from the taxpayer. Um, I think that it is irresponsible to have schools that are toxic when this school is certainly not toxic. We in the neighborhood knew the fix was in on this giveaway to St. Mary's from the city, which was brokered in front of neighborhood association meetings uh, three years ago. Um, and uh, St. Mary's is not only Forest Bridgman Community School out of the property that they're being given at a deal that is outrageous and unheard of, but uh, um, they, uh, they're also kicking people out of their houses in the neighborhood and uh, um, demolishing them in order to put guest homes in. They don't do anything good for the neighborhood. I don't like them in the neighborhood. There are helicopters hovering over the neighbor's houses as a result of a helipad uh, being put in at St. Mary's. There are St. Mary's security vehicles speeding through the neighborhood at all hours of the night. Um, and then they want to tell us they're good for us after they, uh, uh, after they steal our, our property and our tax dollars? Come on, give me a break. This is the oldest play in the book. The Catholic Church gets a giveaway from the government, and they use the most popular current gladiatorial sport, that's the NFL and the Washington Redskins, to distract the people with their bread and circus while they steal money. This is a theft. The fact that this is even being considered is, is so outrageous, but I see that this is standard operating procedure for this body. This body is criminal in nature. It has no real authority. It does nothing but retain money from the people and then pass it out in kickbacks to their construction cronies. This is a joke. You should all be embarrassed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good evening, my name is Silver Percy, I'm a citizen of Richmond, Virginia. I agree with Mr. Dorsey that uh, this is the first step on, uh, to the way of a public theft, a legal public theft from the people of the city of Richmond to basically uh, the owner of the Redskins, Daniel Snyder. You know, uh, I looked him up on Wikipedia before the meeting, He's, uh, his personal value is $1.1 billion, that's a thousand million dollars. And, and, you know, Redskins hasn't, aren't putting up one red cent to uh, bring this training field here. Uh, this is the first step of the process where you all are taking away a public resource. And, and, you know, this was presented to the council two weeks ago. Just two weeks ago from tonight, it was presented to the city council for the first time at the informal session. Three o'clock meeting. Before that, nobody knew anything about it. You know, uh, I think this is a vanity project for Governor McDonald and the mayor. And where is our mayor? You know, he didn't even come and present the award this evening. He hasn't said a single word, you know, to, to counsel publicly about this. He's had, uh, he's had Mr. Marshall and, uh, and his chief of staff do all, all the heavy lifting on this job. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned after I heard the public comments about the people that are interested in the top lot. Uh, I know you're planning to relocate the top lot within two blocks uh, based on where the neighborhood wants it. Uh, these uh, enhancements that you, you're talking about, Ms. Trammell brought it up, uh, and hopefully to moot some of the opposition here, but uh, you know, all, all, those, all those represent is an additional $1 million from Boston Coors 
and then all the city revenue being dedicated to schools. This is, you know, this, this represents a, a financial theft from the people of the city too, because uh, the $6.4 billion, million dollars that uh, the hospital, Bon Secours, is putting up for this project. And also, Mr. Marshall at last week's land use meeting, you should have seen this, basically admitted that this deal was a quid pro quo. He said that uh, the city approached two entities, and uh, he did not name the other, but one was Bon Secours. Bon Secours said he would be interested if this included the West Hampton site. I can't believe he admitted such a thing, but that's what's going on here. Backdoor deals are being made without the community's involvement. And you know, I, I have 30 seconds. You, I'm going to ask you, in the next speakers coming up, to stick to this paper. This well, this is the first is, step in the Redskins this, deal. This, this is a big, this stinky first, deal. This is first year. I'm talking right now. What you you interrupted me to speak. I'm done. Yeah, Thank you very much. All right. Please remember that we are speaking to this paper. This paper merely addresses surplus in the school in the city. The school has been vacant and abandoned for three years. So that's what this paper addresses. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. My name is Carolyn Worsom. I'm a city resident. Um, this paper is a perfect example of public-private partnerships, which is a part of sustainable development. Um, ma'am, are you speaking to the surplusing of this school? Oh, yes, yes ma'am, I am. Well, I am speaking about the surplusing of the school. And surplusing of the school is a perfect example of public private partnerships, which is a part of sustainable development. Uh, that's basically all I have to say. I don't mean to embarrass you in this video, but we have no lights in Churchill, and I've been trying to contact someone and haven't been able to get an answer. But the but the interesting thing is, is that the um, playground lights are on, and they kind of stay on all night and all day. That's really questionable. So, but um, I, I don't support the uh, the paper uh, for the school. Period. And did you identify yourself, then? I certainly did. And if you don't remember, my name is Carol Warsom, and I do live in Churchill. Thank you, Ms. Warsom. You're very welcome. You also brought up a very important public announcement. I'll let you make it. We just got an email on your lights. Thank you. So, Mr. Lee, you want to make that announcement? Okay, certainly. Thank you, Ms. Morgan. Um, as we understand it, uh, there was an accident such that a uh, light pole was uh, uh, hit, and the, as a result, Dominion expects to repair city street lights by approximately 6 p.m. this evening. So we are aware, and folks are working to get those back on as quickly as possible. Thank you. But how about those playground lights? Shouldn't they be off at 6 o'clock every evening? Maybe that was about playground. Great. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you. My name is Michael Delano. I'm a resident of Oregon Hill. Uh, thank you for listening to me, Council. Uh, I would like to oppose the transfer of this property. Um, I, for whatever reason, I just don't want it. I think there are better options uh, that we should look at, uh, no matter what you use the property. Currently, I would like other options to be utilized. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone to speak in favor of surplusing West Hampton School and the property to the city? Hello, I'm David Napier, and I guess following up the last uh, comment, I don't think. The way I understand it, nothing can happen to it if it doesn't get surplus. Whether or not this deal goes through or something else happens. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, we're going to ask for surplus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there any other public comment? All right, back to council for discussion. Mr. Yes, sir, Mr. Fowler. Uh, earlier, Steve talked about the uh, West End School and how it surplus. Uh, in fact, uh, five or six years ago now, several council members and several school board members worked together to look 
really all the ADA projects in the city of Richmond. Um, and during the dialogue, uh, it was very obvious to everyone that was involved in the conversations that the West Hampton School would require a significant amount of uh, upgrading in order to meet the ADA. And it was not a simple $100,000 here or $100,000 there. And we had over 50 schools of $25 million total. Now, I believe the number was more than $4 million range. And then the question came up, what else do we have to do in the school? And at that point, the estimates were um, significant. And once we got into that dialogue, it became very obvious that the school needed to be surplus. So the schools were involved in this conversation in the very beginning, long before anybody even had a conversation of what it would ultimately become. So I want the public to understand that. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Um, any other discussions? All right, please call the vote. Uh -huh. Council is voting on item number 29, oldest number 2012-213. Mr. Palmer? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Mr. Gilbert? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Aye. Ms. Newville? Aye. Ms. Tramble? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Rossi? Aye. 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 Thank you, Madam Clerk. And for the next paper we're going to take up is resolution. Uh, resolution needs to be expedited. Thank you. 